Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Um, as I started pulling cards for y'all today, I started getting uh, really anxious. So my anxiety feels out of control right now. Um, there's a few messages here. So you guys will decide which one of these resonate with you. Whatever doesn't resonate, please just leave it alone. Don't want to make more shit out of nothing. Um, so let's just start and, you know, we'll see what happens I'm trying to calm down <laughs> all right um so I'm guessing the anxiety I'm feeling right now is from your fear of change good morning Beth how are you doing today um <sighs> understand the universe is always with you and everything that's happening is happening for your highest good okay and if it's your job your health relationship whatever it is that you're afraid of you know just have uh there's an affirmation i have faith that all is well okay just keep saying that to yourself if you find yourself being stressed out or fearful to move in any direction because <clears throat> It's important for you not to fear this change. And if it is a relationship change, you stand tall and maintain your dignity in whatever is going on, okay? Don't let anyone else push you around or walk all over you. Aw, I'm sorry, Beth. Maybe it's your anxiety that I'm feeling because <laughs> it's bad right now. I'm trying to bring it down a little bit. But... You know, when you're going through changes, it's natural to be fearful because you don't know what's on the other side. You don't know what you're getting into or what's going to happen. So understand that fear is not a real thing, okay? Just because you feel fearful doesn't mean that you stop and you don't make any moves. It means you push towards it, okay? That you have to find the courage and be brave to go towards whatever is scaring you. Now, if it's a bad situation and you already know it's a bad situation, don't go towards that. <laughs> I'm saying if you're just like, okay, I need to get out of a situation or leave a job or move somewhere because you feel like you can't do anything or you can't make any moves, it's okay to be afraid, but don't let it consume you. Acknowledge that you're afraid and it'll dissolve, okay? Once you start taking steps, you'll feel better. So don't let that consume you. You have to be bold right now. And be willing to take risks and be daring because when you're willing to do that, the universe opens up many, many doors for you because they know that when they open it, you're going to walk through it. So don't be afraid, okay? They know everything that's happening. If you need guidance, ask Spirit to show you, you know, sit in meditation because they will show you. They'll let you know, hey, this is what's going to happen. So trust it. And... <clears throat> like I said, they're already ready to support your dreams. So if this is going to be a big transition or if it's a business concept or anything along those lines, do it big, okay? Oh, Beth, I'm so sorry. I know what that feels like. Believe me, I'm still working on finding me again. Um, Sometimes it's it's a process, you know, you have to go through the crying and the sadness and all of that so that you can find yourself again. But don't let that consume you or make you change who you are, okay? Always look at it as it was an experience, it was a lesson, you know, I don't know exactly what's happening, but just take it as there was something to learn from it. And if it is a loss of a family member, friendship, whatever it is, understand that everyone has their own journey and their own things that they need to go through so just try to look at it from another perspective so that you're not down all the time um <clears throat> and understand all you everyone's here for a purpose okay so if you are uh like i said fearing this change everything happens in synchronicity <laughs> so if you're not taking that step you're kind of pausing everybody else's life and everything else that needs to happen, okay? So you're here for a purpose, okay? You're watching this for a reason. You're on this earth for a reason. All of these things are happening for a reason. So don't feel bad about yourself. Don't belittle yourself, okay? I don't know what your purpose is or how big or how small, but every part is important, okay? You've never seen a movie where even the background characters, they played a part. They're important for some reason, you know? You're like, oh yeah, that's nice. So don't dumb it down. Now, 
Healing is important in this part here. It's necessary for you to heal because there is a, I don't know if you're in a partnership and if you are a part in a partnership, maybe that partnership is what needs to be healed or there is a relationship that's gonna come to you to help you heal. Either way, you have to be open to this. And if you're stuck in a relationship that you feel there's no room for growth, there's no room for you to do anything, then maybe it's time for you to move out of that relationship and allow yourself to heal from that so that you can be open to something else. But if that's not the case and you're already single and you're just kind of, you know, healing your own shit and working through it, there is someone that's going to come and provide you the extra support and the love that you need, okay? Because I see victory. Um, and some of you are dealing with a person that is uh, obsessive, jealous, controlling, uh, maybe even you have some addictions, uh, sexual addictions. Now these things can be overcome, okay? Everything can be overcome. You just have to be determined. You know, um, the same way you're determined to go to work and get a paycheck. You know, you bust your ass, you go to work, you, you put 40 hours a week into a job that you more than likely don't fucking like. You're just like, I hate this fucking place, but you do it because you have bills to pay. You need to put that same dedication into yourself and what you want to create in your life and your own business or whatever's going to fulfill your dreams. You can't just give, 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 give to something that is fucking unimportant to you. You know, it's just, oh, this is just money and it pays my bills. You have to put that same energy into yourself, especially when it comes to healing, okay? Because you don't want to walk around broken and sad and fucking crying all the time. I know, it's not fun. So understand that's what's happening. And if you're dealing with someone that has uh, been being sneaky or deceptive, Justice is coming to that person, okay? The scales are being balanced. So don't feel like they're getting away with shit because they're not, okay? Spirit is bringing justice to the situation and you will find victory in whatever you have going on. So stop being fearful, okay? <clears throat> because all of this is happening for a reason. So don't be afraid of the change. Be strong and stand for what you believe in. And I know it's hard sometimes, especially if you have to stand alone and you don't have anyone to help you or support you. But spirit is there and they're waiting for you to take back your strength, to take back your power and make the move forward, okay? They're gonna give you everything you need. Um, there's three sixes, if that means anything, if you've been seeing it, but those are the numbers that I see right now. Um, so for that message, you know, you will have victory in it. So if you are going to court, if you've been dealing with deceptive people, whatever it is, you're going to get victory in that. So please don't be afraid of making any changes. Don't be afraid of taking your ass to court. Whatever it is, move forward with it, okay? Now, this one here, again, it goes back to being who you are. Stand true to who you are. You stand in your power. You say, okay, this is who I am, not who people make you believe you are or what people fucking uh, beat you down to, you know, because sometimes you get around people that are so toxic for you and they drain your energy and they just beat you down so much that you lose who the fuck you are. And then you're like, oh my God, how am I supposed to make these moves? How am I going to find the strength to do this? Am I even strong enough to do this? Yes. Yes, you are strong enough to make the moves. And you are still that same strong man, strong woman you were before all this fucked up shit happened, okay? You just got to dig yourself out of the bullshit, okay? So don't sit here and keep playing it small and keep taking baby steps towards everything because your baby steps... It's going to take you the rest of your life to get to where you're going. You know, sometimes you just need to take that leap of faith and say, fuck it. We'll see what happens. Because that's usually when I'm done and tired of everything, I'm like, fuck it. Like, we'll see what happens. Let's flip the fucking coin and see where I end up. Okay? So be okay. Because right now they're saying you're too caught up in this situation and you need to take a step back to see the bigger picture. Okay? So don't make any rash decisions or make any rash, uh, like, quick action you know if you've been thinking about this and you have a plan and if you work through this then yes do that move forward but if you can't see past right here take a time out you know observe the situation see what you're not seeing try to find what you're missing hola like gracias <laughs> como esta hoy um so be confident in yourself okay you need to be confident in yourself and what you're capable of doing. So while you may feel 
like I'm not strong enough I don't have the energy because lord knows there's days where I'm like I can't do this shit I don't have the fucking energy I'm just I'm not here I can't do it so believe me you can you have the confidence okay find it in yourself you say you know what I am a bad bitch or yeah you know what I am a good nigga I can do this I can do whatever it is that I need to do stand up and find who you are because that's what your guides your spirit they're waiting for you to do that okay so be confident in what you're doing and whatever decisions you're making um because there's a there is a spiritual partnership oh es tarde por allá um todavía que vamos para mediodía por acá um so there is a spiritual partnership now it could be romantic but i feel now like it's just uh it could be a teacher a mentor a guide someone that's coming to help you someone that's going to help you find your full power and help you to get to wherever it is so if you've been lacking that and you're just like i don't feel like i'm good enough i don't feel like i'm ready enough someone is coming to help you get there to give you that confidence to show you that yes you are ready to do this okay so don't be afraid of it and if you've been, uh, like I said, um, addictions, if you're uh, sexual addictions, um, overeating, like uh, too much internet gaming, things like that, um, you need to do that in moderation, okay? Because uh, look at how much time you spend watching TV or how much time you spend <clears throat> playing games or doing things that are not serving your highest good you know you look at how much time you've wasted and what you could have put that energy into so maybe you're like hey i could have put that into reading a book on self-love or put that energy into volunteering and helping someone else in need or working on my business or working on me you know look at what you're giving your time to and your energy to and it's okay to do these things but do it in moderation don't do it don't spend more time doing shit that's not beneficial to you as opposed to what is going to help you in your life and make you the best you you can be. So if that's what you're doing, chill out so that way you can get to where you need to be. There is a caring connection. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if this is uh, coming or if you've already found it, but what they're saying now is to be patient with this connection if it is coming or if it is here or if you're waiting on somebody or you, you know your situation and how it's going to work out best for you but they're saying to be willing to pass up good for something great now if you're in a relationship or you're talking to someone and you're just like oh you know this is nice this is a sweet situation you know but it's not like your dream it's not like this is what i need be okay to pass that up and say you know what i like you or i love you or whatever it is that you feel for the person and be okay to walk away from it now if this is more business or opportunities that are being presented to you sometimes you were like okay well it's an offer and i need a job or i need a car or i need a house and you'll be like well it'll do what it's you know it'll help me pay the bills or it'll get me from point a to point b or it's a fucking house and yeah that's true but sometimes spirit needs to know that you're willing to walk away from things that you know in your soul are not fulfilling to you because when you're able to do that and they know that you're willing to pass up on things and say no this isn't for me then you get the bigger things then you get the bigger blessings because they know that you're not going to settle for less and you should never settle for less than what you want okay you always go for what it is that you're looking for because they're showing right now that whatever is going on, the situation, you're going to be enlightened. You're going to see through whatever is happening. You're going to see the truth in the situation. So if there's an offer that's being presented to you, again, make sure you're paying attention and you're watching what's happening. But definitely you're going to be you're going to see the truth. But it's showing that you're going to have the opportunity at a new beginning. The sun is going to shine again and everything is going to be better. So this could be a happy ending, happy beginning. But if you are dealing with relationship stuff, <clears throat> you know, you have to be true to yourself. Be true to your heart. What does your heart truly want? If it's a specific person and you just know with everything inside you that that is your person, then you need to be patient with that person and be patient for that relationship to unfold okay now 
I'm not saying you put your life on hold because they're not ready or they're still dealing with their own shit. You keep living your life, you know. If they're not ready, then okay, they're not ready. If you're ready, then you're ready. If you're willing to just say, you know what, I'm going to be single because I don't want to deal with all this shit, then do that. But don't wait on anybody for, you know, for you to be happy. You do what you need to do. You be happy. And if they're meant for you, they will find their way back into your life. So don't be pressed about it, okay? But like I said, be willing to pass up on good because if you are, if you're occupying the space with another person, or another job or whatever it is you know you're kind of blocking something else to come in or something better to come in because you're not looking anymore and you're just you know you're complacent you're like hey, i'm good right now so you stop looking or you stop allowing people to come in so don't do that to yourself because if you stay uh patient and open it's going to be beneficial to you there are blessings that are there um which one was this one i think this is the other one now, spirit wants you to surrender to your soul's path. And <clears throat> so what I find interesting in this, when you're surrendering to your soul's path, you know, you need to relax and um, release any guilt that you have going on, okay? And make your needs top priority. You can't put other people's uh, needs above your own because when you start doing that, you lose yourself. And then when you lose yourself, you get into this sad and broken place and you're trying um, a lot. Some of us can't pull ourselves out of that. So when you get to that place, you have to find the courage. You have to find the strength within you to say, no, I'm not going to let this consume me. So sometimes it is going to therapy and getting medication or finding someone to support you and help you and guide you through it. And that's fine. Don't be ashamed if you need help or if you need someone to talk to. Okay, but spirit wants you to surrender to your soul's path because the way I'm looking at this... They want you to go out on your own. They're saying that right now you are uh, you're very over-dependent, you're co-dependent on another person or situation, whatever it is, but you need to step away from that, okay, and do what you need to do what's best for your soul, what's best for you to get to where you need to be, especially if you are on your spiritual path because everything else is irrelevant. You know, you have a path, you have a mission, you have things that you need to do, you have people that you need to reach, so you need to be willing to let go of these things and move forward. Hey, Joyce, how are you? Oh, girl, I think everybody's going through it right now. Like, for real. <laughs> it's like a world, the shit storm right now, just like, shh. I'm like, leave me alone. I don't want to participate. <laughs> but make sure you're taking responsibility for your actions, okay? Now, if you are in a situation where it's like this person's restricting you or you feel like you're being restricted or you're being bound, you control you okay they don't control you no matter how much they want to think they control you or in their minds they think they control you and they have say in what happens in your life they do not okay it is your life you have the strength to walk away from that shit. it is always going to be your choice because there is love and you have to take the lead okay this is your life and it's important for you to take the lead in your life because when you do that it allows for love to come in. It allows for you to be loving and give love to other people. And when you're in a controlling situation, it's hard because you don't even feel love. You don't feel loved. You feel like you're a possession. Like, hey, I'm a trophy to somebody else because that's how they treat you. So be okay with being open and just saying this isn't for me or I'm done with this or you're not going to treat me this way. And if they continue to treat you that way, you walk away. That's it. It's either you're going to change or I'm going to leave. Those are the fucking options. You don't let nobody tell you what you're going to do with your life and what the fuck you're not going to do. I'd like to see you try. So don't do that to yourself, okay? Because um, you do have an offer that's coming in. And it looks like it is a faded offer. It's something that is uh, divinely guided. Now, this offer, there's two different ones. I'm going to go down this one first. Um, so... Like I said, there is an offer that's coming, and it is an offer of love. And if you're open to it, then that's awesome. But if you're not open to it and you stay in this situation, you know, I don't know your situation. I don't know if you're in love with the person, if you like, even like the motherfucker. I don't know. But if you don't, you have to remove yourself so that you can be open to receiving that type of love, okay? So don't be afraid to be on your own. 
you came to this world by yourself, unless you're a twin, triplet, quadruple, however many fucking kids came. <laughs> Basically, most of us came here by ourselves. And, you know, that's it. If you feel, if someone has you to the point of feeling like you can't make it without them, that's not love. They like that you're dependent on them. They like that they can control you and keep you from doing what you want to do. So don't be afraid to walk away because there's plenty of places. I'm sure there's family, friends, there's ways to get out of this and people that are help you along the way. Now, um, there's another message for those of you that, uh, are refusing to surrender to your soul's path understand that the more you refuse you're not going to get to that place that you're trying to get to if it's financial abundance if it's uh, trying to be famous whatever it is you have to be willing to begin your path begin your journey start walking down that road again okay because if you don't, you're not going to get to where you're trying to go because that's for somebody. I don't know who it is. Um, but yes, like I said, there is an offer coming and it's going to lead to great success. It could, um, you could become famous or, you know, in the public eye some way, but this spiritual journey is going to bring you through that, you know, that's your path. So that's what your path is ultimately leading to for those of you that are on that path. So that's that message. Now here, it's basically, you know, going in and meditating, but understand that once you've done everything you can do, it's time to step back and allow spirit, the room to make the synchronicities happen, you know, because we don't know everyone that's going to be taking part in our life story. You know, right now we know the people that we've had and some of us have lost them and then there's new people that are coming. So spirit brings like minds, you know, like minded people to you. So you have to be open to that. Now, it's OK to spend time alone and in solitude, because when you're alone and in solitude, you don't have a bunch of distractions. You don't have a bunch of people putting things in your head or making you feel um, insignificant. So be okay with being alone or it's saying hey you know what i need to go away for a weekend because i need a time out i need to think and i can't think here so always take that and be who you truly are stop trying to fucking fit into everybody else's picture of you or how you should be and i know it's hard when you've had family or you've been a certain way your whole fucking life and that's what people just expect of you and you say nope sorry I changed, I healed, I've grown. You're not getting that person anymore. And if you're not satisfied with that, then you can walk out my fucking life because I'm not going to go back to something that I just busted my ass to get out of, you know? When you start loving yourself and you start healing, yes, things are gonna change. Relationships are going to change because they're used to you being a certain way. They're used to you giving and depleting yourself for their benefit. So fuck that and fuck them. And you tell them, I don't care if it's a fucking family member or relationship, work, whoever it is, you know, don't let people just be like, oh, well, this is how you were before. All right. Yeah, that's how I was before. And this is how I am now. So now that means you're either going to step up to the plate and you're going to get your shit together or you're going to walk the fuck out my life because I don't got time for the bullshit. You know, don't let people keep you in a position you no longer belong in. OK, don't. Don't let them impose that on you. Don't make pe don't let them do that. Because <clears throat> and the changes when you learn how to love yourself, then that's true love because you truly love yourself and then the universe knows that you're not going to let people walk all over you. You're not going to let people treat you like shit and you're not going to allow yourself to be put in situations that are not for your highest good or that make you feel bad. Okay, that is true love, okay? And your heart is going to bring that to you. If you haven't found a partnership, you're going to one's going to come that's going to give you the love that you give yourself so if you're looking for someone look at how you love yourself look at how you treat yourself how much time do you take out for you how much time do you spend alone in healing yourself and working on you and improving yourself look at those things because those are the things you need to work on not your fucking job because it's a job if you died today do you think they're gonna give a fuck no they're gonna fucking replace you with somebody else and keep it pushing so don't kill yourself for a fucking job. It's a fucking job. That's it. It's a fucking paycheck. It ain't shit else. 
And believe me, I will say that to any fucking manager, whoever. I don't care. I've told, this is a job. It's fucking money. I can get it anywhere. I don't give a fuck. So if it's not in alignment with me and who I am, I don't give no fucks. It ain't happening. So be okay with those things, okay? And always love yourself because it's showing that you're sabotaging yourself. Like, there's options, there's uh, plenty of opportunities, you have options, but it's like you are deliberately sabotaging yourself, and I don't understand why. And if it is a relationship, you know, there is going to be a change, and I don't know the type of person you're dealing with, or maybe you're the person that likes to self-sabotage, or maybe they're sabotaging the connection. However this resonates for you, you know, some people don't know how to get out of sabotaging themselves and it takes someone to realize and acknowledge that that's what that person's doing you know and people do it out of fear they do it out of fear of being hurt so if you're dealing with someone like that or a situation like that confront them just be like why are you sabotaging this because they might not even realize it so really just bring it to their attention and point out whatever characteristics it is that you notice and say, well, I feel like you're trying to sabotage this connection or you're sabotaging this position or this relationship or whatever it is and see why. Because sometimes we just get so caught up and so used to being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Being in a situation where it's like, I'm not good enough or I don't deserve this. And that's just programming, you know, it's programming from our past experiences. So when you listen to yourself and your life and what's going on, you know, you will find your path, you will find your calling, you will find what you were meant to do because once you do that, it shows abundance. You're going to have so much money. And like I said, somebody's going to go to fame, like they're going to become famous. So. And that's through the spiritual path, through the spiritual journey. So please listen to what your soul calls you to do. And even if it's scary and you have to stand up for yourself, do it. Okay? Do it. Because your ancestors, your guides, your spirits, they're all there with you. They are supporting you. They are behind you. So don't ever feel like you're alone. Even if you are physically on the 3D alone. In the spirit realm, they're with you. So trust in that. Now, like I said, uh, there's people that are going through financial constraints right now. And I feel like this, again, a message from before from a similar person. Yes. What happened, Tiny? No, it's too early for ice cream. You don't need ice cream right now. No, sir. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My son thinks it's a good time for ice cream. Um, so for those of you that are going through financial constraints, you know, it's good to be able to adapt to the situations and the way things change, you know, cause sometimes you might have it planned out like, oh, this is going to happen like this. And sometimes, no, you end up with a whole fucking another path and you're just like, oh, okay, I guess this is the path for me to get to where I'm supposed to go. So if you've, uh, this is music here. If you are a person that's like a, a musician or you're working on music and you feel like this is what I want to do, this is where I'm trying to go and it's not working out, I feel like you are, uh, you have a spiritual path. Like spirit is calling you to be, to put your spirituality first. And if you're not putting that first and you're not working on you and you're not healing you, you're going to continue to go going through these financial constraints and these cycles of you're okay and then it's bad and you're okay and then it's bad so please understand when you start putting spirit first and you start putting your purpose first everything starts to unfold the way it's meant to but if you keep resisting your path and you keep putting other things before your spirituality like you're um like you're refusing to acknowledge that that's what your path is you're gonna keep doing you're gonna keep hitting a wall <laughs> basically is like spirits like hey this person's trying to tell you something. This person's talking to you. You're not listening. And you keep forcing yourself to go through it another way and go through it another way and go through it another way because all you see is the money and that's what you're focused on. You're going to keep hitting a wall. You're going to keep hitting the financial uh, difficulties. Okay? So work through that because 
when you ask for guidance they will give you guidance they will help you and they will help you with your creativity so like i said for whoever this is that has the music uh, career music situation going on it's okay to have that and want that but understand that all of your blessings and your gifts come from acknowledging your purpose we all came with blueprints we all have a purpose as to why we came here that we need to fulfill you know those are the contracts those are the things we agreed to with certain people that we said i'm gonna do this with this person in this lifetime and if spirits like you're not acknowledging that for whatever fucking reason in the 3d realm whatever happened to you and you're refusing to accept those things you're gonna keep on with the bullshit you know it's not gonna stop so please acknowledge this and allow that part you know stop refusing it because there are endings and beginnings coming. Um, oh, damn it. And again, <laughs> some of you are going to be blessed with a baby. Um, and some of you might not want the baby. <laughs> but they show that there is, uh, you have the opportunity to become a parent. You know, whether, however this baby's coming to you, I don't know. But you have this opportunity to be a parent. Okay, so you need to own your shit and be who you're meant to be and stop fucking hiding in the background because that's what I'm seeing is like you're hiding in the background. You have musical abilities or talents, but you're not working together with your spirituality to allow this to unfold and bring you the blessings that it needs to bring you and ask for guidance now if this is uh for a child for those uh if you know younger people that watch this it's okay to go to your parents and say mom dad i don't know what's going on or i'm thinking about doing this or i fucked up you know, and I know some people are, um, some parents are not open to these conversations or don't know how to be open to them. And you might get a bad reaction out of this, but you have to be strong. You have to find the strength and be brave in who you are and talk to your parents because that's why they're here. Parents are here to guide you through life. They're here to help you make better decisions and help you not fuck up your life the way we fucked up our lives, okay? You know, so if that's what it is, understand they've been living longer than we've been living. So appreciate your parents, talk to them, ask them for guidance, for advice, for whatever it is, because they're going to bring you to the right place. And like I said, that's not all parents because some parents can't handle this or they've never been in this situation or they don't know how to deal with this. So you find someone else that would be like a parent that would be willing to play that role and guide you and mentor you and help you to develop. So you could take it as it resonates. I'm not sure, you know, which way it's going, but someone is, again, going to have a baby um, that it will lead to a marriage and you will have a very long, fulfilling life. And I'm seeing two. So uh, you might have twins um, for whoever this is. You might end up with uh, twins. Um, but please, you know, be okay with what you have going on. And the endings here, it could be the end of a marriage for some of you, if that is what you have going on, you know. Um, and it, don't look at it bad because I'm sure you already know that it sucks or whatever. And if it is ending, maybe you will be having some financial constraints as you're going through this situation. So just be smart in your spending and, you know, budget budget what you have to buy what you need to do and if you really need to do it and if you um do music or offer your services or whatever then have a fair price you know you don't have to be rich off of a, a person or whatever just say hey this is what i charge you know and i'll work with you because some people might not be able to afford it and be willing to have a sliding scale you know some people can't afford shit other people are a little bit broke so that's whatever this is but the world needs who you are and they need this okay so if you are a musician you do music they need this okay they need the music because music brings healing and a lot of people identify with music even if they can't speak the language it's just listening and it's important for you to be playful okay be playful in life and allow yourself to be I'm missing a card um so be playful take a time out you know like i said live your bliss do what makes you happy if 
music makes you happy, then keep playing music, keep creating music. If being a parent makes you happy, then go ahead and have some kids. And being married, whatever it is that brings joy, please do that, live it, because that's going to help you get out of all these fucked up ruts. It's going to help you bring the abundance that you're looking for. Yeah. But if you stay stuck in these fucking patterns of feeling sad and bad for yourself, it's not going to get there, okay? So pleasure is essential in our lives because that's what we came here for. We came here to have fun. It's just that power and greed it took over and it's fucking everything up because everybody just wants money 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 or they want to be in power and they want to be in control and it's taking it's stealing our lives it basically that's what's happening it's stealing our lives because we spend so much time working we have no time for us we have no time to live because if you're a parent you spend 40 hours working and then you have children activities or shit that your kids need to do and you got to be cooking dinner and doing all this stuff so really what time do you have for you at what point do you become important you know so please live your life you only have it now have fucking fun with it you know do the best you can be who you are always be who you are and stay true to you because this is a spiritual career and <clears throat> Okay, so for the spiritual people, you know, um, your loyalty and your faithfulness is, uh, you're misplacing it, you know, so I don't know if you're giving it to the wrong person, the wrong job, the wrong friendships, family members, whatever it is, but see who you're giving your loyalty to and if they deserve your loyalty. See how they've treated you. You know, it doesn't have to be a sudden decision. Take the time to write these things down and say, you know what, who is there for me when I really needed someone? And then see, who have I been there for when they really needed me? And see if they go together, you know, because if it's a give and take, then that's a good relationship. That's a good uh, something to continue. And if it's never been a give and take, and if it's only been you giving and giving and giving and someone taking and taking and taking, Maybe you need to change your loyalties to that person, okay? So don't be afraid to write the shit down and figure it out. And again, the door to romance, you have the opportunity for love, okay? But it's showing that your, your heart is in a place where you have all this, like it's guarded, like you have fucking walls, you have all types of shit around your heart, probably even spikes and shit, so nobody is close to you. But if you don't start letting those fall away it's going to be hard for someone to come in and offer you this love but some of you do have to move away from whoever this person is or this situation is that is not a mutual give and take okay because it looks like there is an offer or something that is coming or if they've already presented an offer and it might be something you need to walk away from okay so if they're not as loyal as you if they're not coming to you the way you need them like I, everyone has standards you know it's not about your pride or your ego it's I have standards you know I treat myself a certain way so I expect the people that come into my life to treat me the same way I treat myself and that's why self-love is important because when you love yourself then you're not going to let people just treat you how they feel like they could treat you nah you're not going to treat me how you think you're going to treat me just because that's how other people allow you to treat them no you're going to treat me how i want to be treated or you're not going to be in my life and that's for friendships relationships family whoever the fuck you tell them this is who i am now you take it or you leave it and like you're going to respect me and you're going to treat me the way my standards say you're going to treat me or we're not going to communicate and you're going to be out of my life you don't have to settle for these things okay and if you are getting a bullshit ass offer Walk away from the bullshit ass offer because it's a bullshit fucking offer. So don't be afraid of that. Because there's something, like I said, um, where the fuck? Be willing to pass up, okay? If it's not what you're really wanting. And it's like, you're, it's a decent offer. No. And be like, okay, it's yeah, it's, it's a nice offer, but it's not what I want. So I'm sorry. You know, there is somebody out there that will give you exactly what you want. They will offer you everything that you're looking for and then some. So don't settle for the bullshit. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care how much you fucking love them. Don't do it. What child? Hang all right, Tiny. So don't do that to yourself, all right? There is a page of cups that's here. And again, six of swords. For me, that's just moving away from whatever that offer is. So don't be afraid of walking away because it's showing that that offer is probably going to be bullshit and it's going to go up in smoke. 
So move away towards the better offer because there are there is a lot of abundance and you're going to have victory in what's going on. And if it's this fucking romantic ass relationship, allow the relationship. Okay, you guys, because I'm so tired of saying the same shit already. Just stop being a fucking chicken shit. You know, we're all scared sometimes, but, you know, man up, you know, find your balls wherever they're at <laughs> and do what the fuck you need to do. All right. Just do it. Get it done. Say, all right, I'm taking a fucking risk. And I'm going to say balance all of your fucking chakras because I have about half of them here. Um, so you have to work on your sacral chakra, your crown chakra, and your third eye. So those are the three chakras right now that came out that said that you guys need to work on those. There are meditations. Um, like I said, I usually do an eight-hour one at nighttime and I balance all of my chakras. So you can do it that way or they have shorter ones throughout the day. You know, whatever works for you and whatever fits your schedule. But be open to all of these things and walk away if you need to fucking walk away. Don't take bullshit-ass offers. I don't care if it's a fucking job or whatever. Be okay with saying, this is not for me, I'm sorry, but it's not what I'm looking for, okay? Don't let people keep you on hold and have you on a fucking, uh, like a hamster wheel, you know? And they just keep giving you a little tiny piece of cheese and they're like, here you go, here you go, here you go. No, leave me the fuck alone. You can't give me what I want, go the fuck away, somebody else will. That's it. You don't have to keep putting your life on hold for nobody. But those are your messages. I hope they resonated. And for those of you that are really going through shit right now, you know, I understand and I know it's hard sometimes and it's even worse during the fucking holidays to be going through shit because it's the fucking holidays. So please be strong, okay? You are going to overcome this. You're not going to be stuck. You're not. It's not going to go the way you're imagining in your mind, okay? The mind is a scary place. Stay out of there because all I see is blessings. I see there are six fucking major arnicas here okay the major arcana cards there are six of them and there is only fucking i only pulled 12 i pulled 12 and i got six of them so there's major transitions that are happening in your life right now be open to the transitions allow this shit to happen stop fucking fighting everything everything is not up for battle okay sometimes it's cool to just be like i'm just gonna flow with this and see what happens because i'm fucking tired that's where i'm at at life i'm like i don't even fucking care no more where do you want to take me at? i'll turn left okay i'm going that way be okay with that let it happen okay I love you guys and I'm sending healing energy for those of you that need it. And like I said, reach out, you know, I know there's people on here that I talk to uh, regularly, the people that watch me, and I will reach out to you if I haven't <laughs> talked to you in a while or if I'm concerned and I know you're going through something, you know, I really do care about you and I want you guys to be better and be happy and not be in a bad place. So if you just need someone to talk to, feel free to reach out, okay? Um, but just you know stand up and be true to you and have faith everything's gonna be fine i promise everything's gonna be okay all right just take the necessary steps do what you need to do don't be afraid all right i love you guys i hope you have an awesome day and i hope i helped you in some way today have a good day